Hey guys, we slept till like 11. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's not true. I slept until 1040. You should have woke me up. We have a million things to do and Josh is coming over later. But we have a million things to do first. But I don't know why you slept so late. Were you up late? How late did you stay up? I couldn't sleep last night. Oh. And then all night last night I finally decided to do a deep cleaning of the house. I don't know where that came from, but it happened last night. Burst of energy. Yeah, I had a burst of energy. <laughs> you could right? say that. I oh like in that video. I don't know. I just started in this craziness and Justin kept coming out of his office and looking at me like I lost my mind. But like I got the whole house cleaned, like deep cleaned, like scrubbed down, just I don't know where that came from, but <laughs> apparently it made me really tired. <laughs> um yeah, so we're just running errands now. So I'm home and while we were coming home, um I got a message from Madge. You guys might remember her. She sent Jackson that beautiful spoon and little toys and um, what was that? The little passy holders and stuff. And uh, it was the first package Jackson got from like uh, our YouTube family. And I, I call her like YouTube sister, like people that do videos too. Um, and she messaged me and said there was another package for him, which is just like, I was like, Oh my gosh, are you serious? <laughs> she sent him another gift. We haven't opened it yet. We're gonna go open it. Um, right now, just need to put some caulk down so it would dry so that uh, on the quarter round, so that in a couple hours when Josh comes over, they can put the uh, furniture back in. So Ralph's in here sniffing everything. Um, but yeah, so once I can go back downstairs, we're going to open it. But girl, you should not have done that. Like, it's so sweet, like, to send him two packages. Actually, three, because, like, the first package came and the second one with the other stuff. And now this is the third. I mean, that's just too sweet. So we're going to go open it in a minute. But um, I'll link Madge's channel in the description box below because, like I said, she does YouTube, too. Um, she's so sweet. She's She has fibromyalgia, and she has been... A part of our YouTube family and a YouTube sister for a long time now but um yeah we're gonna go open that in just a second once the stuff dries I was gonna show you guys some of the crazy things I was doing like my closet my dresser is still a little bit of a mess because I have some magazines I stick magazines down in my boots to keep them kind of like stiff and I have two pairs of boots in the garage that I'm like I stepped in dog poop in one of them when um I was going to crystals one day um, some dog in her neighborhood runs around and he like pooped under leaves and I stepped in it. So we had like scrubbed him really well and let them dry in the garage. But yeah, so there's some stuff on there that shouldn't be. But um, this is one of the projects I was doing this week when I wasn't <laughs> vlogging as much. And it's like, uh, these are the dolls my grandma gave me. She made those. I don't know if y'all can see. I'll flip the camera around in a second. But, yeah, like, all my purses were on the ground because, like, when I need to switch purses, I'd be like, ugh, and pull them down when I wasn't feeling good during the first trimester. My closet was a mess. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys. So was my dresser. I am so embarrassed at how bad my, not my dresser, my um, makeup area was because I would just come in here and do it and not put all my organization stuff back. So, ugh, that was a big project another one of the floor projects we have we have to make this wood like in there um now that they have our flooring again but i had to move all justin stuff in here and i color by the color wheel when i do my clothes so i did his like that too but he doesn't have that many shirts and stuff but like we had to add his stuff back in here because before we didn't share closets um and we had to move that in here uh, I had stored some of this stuff, like my skinny clothes and stuff, in under the guest bed. So I had to bring that in here. My mom's angels uh, and some other stuff I had stored in the guest room. This is now Jackson's room. These were with my angels. Oh, and there's no safe place for them in my office, especially with Jackson on the way now. My grandma made this, with the exception of the sleeves she added, um, just because of the doll's arms that she made. This is like a replica of my wedding dress 
there's like a tiara. She actually made my wedding veil and she made my shoes. So she tried to make the shoes look like the shoes she made me. Um, and the pearls right there, when I walked down the aisle, um, my papa gave her pearls on their wedding day. And it was like, um, it was a big deal because they didn't really have a lot of money back then. So I held the pearls with her, um, with my flower bouquet as just like a special symbol of their love. My papa had died about a year before and it just meant a lot to me. And actually inside this bouquet, it's high up, so I don't want to, you know, this is actually falling out of her hand, but, um, inside the bouquet, oh, there's one. Can you see? She actually took a few pearls off her actual pearl necklace that I carried down the aisle and put it inside the flowers for me. So I thought that was really special. She made that for me when I was a little girl. It's a Cinderella doll. She's very talented. She makes quilts and dolls. And so I moved them in here so I can look at them every day and they're safe from Jackson. Then I reorganized my purses and everything in my little extra storage makeup. And I got my vanity all cleared off. This is actually my mom's vanity from when I was little and my father-in-law refinished it because it was very damaged. But here's a picture of me sitting in my mom's lap. She's pregnant with my brother. And um, I was sitting there while she was doing her makeup trying to curl my eyelashes. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty, it's my special little vanity. So, and then all my pictures of Marilyn because I love Marilyn. But yeah, that's what I was doing in here a couple days ago, like a crazy person. I just thought I'd show you guys. This is the only room in my house that's kind of like super, I don't know, has like, I don't know, besides my office, a lot of like mismatched things I love that are kind of like, I'm a little kid again. Like here's, oh, I don't know why this is slipping down. Scully's autograph, Jillian Anderson, um, the astronaut I met. So excited about that when I met him and just like our Disney stuff and little knickknacks. That's what I keep in my closet because I'm very like... I like our house to look very clean and modern and not cluttered, but in my special spaces, I like to include that stuff. So I just thought I would show you guys. Oh, and my Maryland chair. I don't know if y'all have seen that. I got that in high school at a specialty shop. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know you look very holy. Um, so shot. we had a selfie stick and we're not using it. <laughs> no, this this is fine. So we got the package from Madge, and we're gonna open it now, as always. I untaped it. Y'all should know by now why. <laughs> um, so this is it bad? I'm super excited about these, though. I get so excited. You got us air. No, I get so excited about air. This getting this stuff in the mail because I couldn't use it when I, I ship stuff. Ask him. I save all this stuff. Not like I'm like scrapbooking it, but I'm like I every time I get packing stuff in packages, I get super excited and I have a spot in the garage for him. So, oh, look at the little books. Oh my gosh, and they're sensory books. The touch and feel puppies and kittens. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, they're so cute. Look, that looks like something Ralph would do. Yeah, that looks all right for Ralph. That's so cute. It's puppies and kittens and animals and rabbits. I don't know if we've ever told you guys, but we actually used to have a rabbit. I'm sure I've said that, but that was like our first baby together. Oh, so cute. Thank you. I love that. I love books. We love books. So that is awesome because I actually don't have any of the sensory touch and feel books yet and I know I needed to get some. So that's so appreciated. And I am so stoked about this. I just saw this and was like, oh my gosh. This is, you know, this is going to be so perfect for after Jackson's like a couple months old, we're going to go to California so my brother can meet him and my family in California. And this is going to be so perfect to take so we can bathe him and stuff there. And, uh... It's funny because the other day I was actually looking at travel stuff like I'm going to have to find travel stuff for the baby now that's cruelty free. This is so awesome. Like honestly, Madge, you totally shouldn't have because you already sent him stuff, but that you're so freaking sweet. Like I feel like you just know us so well too. <laughs> I'm actually like super excited about this. Now we have stuff for California too. And it can go, I can all get on the plane safely too. 
So it's freaking awesome. I'm really excited about these too. I couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm really excited about these books too because they didn't. Where, where were we the other day? And I was like, we haven't got him any sensory books. We weren't at half price books. We're at some place with bookstore, and I said, like, we haven't bought any toddler sensory books yet, so you are, like, psychic or something, girlfriend, because I was looking at travel stuff and sensory books. We appreciate it so much, and so does Jackson. He just kicked, so I guess that's his way of saying thank you. Again, you guys, Madge has a YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description box below. Sometimes people can't see my description box because they're on a phone, there's usually like a little drop down arrow, right? So like hit that, check out Madge, subscribe. And yeah, so thank you. Thank you. This is the drama of trying to get a shot for the special project for the nursery. Um, oh. Careful. Okay. <clears throat> hey, hey, bro. <laughs> is there a green screen? Okay, hold on. <laughs> It's Amber's turn. Amber, you have to sit. We're going to do girl. pictures. Good girl, stay. Good girl. She's so much easier. She gets in the position right away. Stay. I'm trying to find lighting where I'm not orange. I think this is okay. Um, I am... Ugh, my health so full from dinner. Justin and Josh are playing video games. I don't know, like, I, this morning I told Justin, I was like, I have, like, I know I slept till 11, even though I was up till, like, 3 o'clock in the morning cleaning, but I have a bizarre amount of energy this morning, and I did. And like, probably about an hour and a half ago, all of a sudden I started feeling really drunk. Like, I think just like tired. I thought like, I didn't feel cold sweats or anything like when my blood sugar got really low. I just felt like super tired and drunk. And I'm like, I feel just like woozy, and I'm like, I think I'm just really tired, and everything I did yesterday is finally hitting me. So, I'm probably gonna like de-pillow our bed and uh, put a blanket on it for the puppies. And um, I'm really proud of myself. I started making my bed again, like probably the first trimester and, and uh, I'm trying to think how far into the second, a good bit of the second trimester so far. I have not been making my bed because I kept going and getting back in bed, but I finally started making it again, which feels good because I can't stand when my bed's not made. But I finally started doing it again. So, um, yeah. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I'm going to go to bed now so I can stop and edit this. Hopefully, I can sit down and read comments for so Like, I've been reading them because as they come in on my phone, you know. But, like, sitting down and answering them, whenever I start getting on the computer for some reason, I'm getting really woozy. So I'm going to try to do that and edit my vlog and, uh stuff because we have a bunch of shit to do tomorrow um i don't even remember all the crap we have to do tomorrow but i think i just need rest so yeah that's pretty much our day we went and ate with josh and now they're playing video games and we were gonna play mario party but i was like i am too tired i just want to go lay down i think i'm gonna watch some like tv on my laptop because i watch watchseries.lt or whatever is the site where you can watch like cable shows or whatever that like we don't have cable so I don't know I'll figure it out I just want to climb into my bed so I'll see you guys tomorrow <clears throat> I did read a comment um that made me laugh somebody said does anyone else miss her signature bye and I, I told Justin like oh my gosh have I not been doing it and he's like no you haven't and I was like I think it's because I'm so tired by like the end of the day, when I stop vlogging, I'm just like, okay, bye. So <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys, bye, and I'll see you tomorrow.